All right, welcome back, everyone. We have got our third match of the day here. Two teams that are 1-0, and looking to get that big second win, put them close to the playoffs here. Got my chemical throwmance coming back. Matching up against Ban Hayes after that really interesting first match of theirs just a few minutes ago. Ran a lot of unorthodox compositions, and really, uh, they made it work. They got the win. So, you see, My Chemical Thromans also looked really strong in their first match. So, really, it could go either way. We'll have to see what happens here. I, I think that if Ban Hayes tries to run their uh, their triple tank or their brawl comps like they did last round, they may actually struggle against My Chemical Thromans because they have um, the tool set available to actually fight back against that, where it seemed like uh, the the other team was... A little bit limited in what they're trying to bring out to fight against that so they'll have to uh they'll have to display some some other skills besides the the run forward and smash everything skill set that they they showed great aptitude for but unfortunately they may get countered if they try that in this game set are there any specific strats you're looking out for in the in this match for uh my chemical throwmance or ben hayes either or so um, my chemical, chemical throwmance has HDD on it specifically, which is why I think uh, the the brawl strat will suffer because having a a good um, chunk rat player combined with monocro potentially playing Lucio means that that brawl can't even reach the target before they're getting a tire dumped on them and they're all half HP. So they'll they'll need to go with a more traditional two 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 probably if they want to come out on the other end. And they'll also need to play highly mobile comps to be able to fight against what could be a Lucio. Well said. All right. And they started talking before I was allowed to say that commoners and RDK are here on commentary. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? Hello. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, just <laughs> got off Just got off some uh, team-based bot, bot review, uh, ready to watch some fantastic Overwatch. All right. So we are... Going into our first map here is going to be Oasis. So let's start here in just a second. We'll see what comes out of this match. Two 1 0 teams. Should be exciting. Once again, we're loading onto the University as our first map here. Of course, Oasis is a very far friendly map, so we are going to be looking at primarily Luck Demon and Jikami on those heroes. Uh, let's see who can dogfight it out for aerial superiority. Of course, we are on University, it looks like, for our first map, which maybe doesn't suit the fair quite as well, but let's see what the teams have in store for us. Luck All right, Demon. and Luck Demon is showing that far, but Shikami on the Brigitte instead. See how this turns out. So this, depending on Luck Demon's performance, this could either be a total smash on the ground, or it could see. We could see. Uh, oh man, I'm already forgetting the team name. <laughs> we could see My Chemical Thromance uh, get thrashed from the air and have no recourse against it. So what what My Chemical Thromance has to do against Ban Hayes here is they need to move in quickly, finish the fight on the ground as soon as possible and not take that Withering Fire from Farah, because if, if they don't execute properly, um, they're just going to slowly get whittled down, Wojo's going to run out of healing, and then they're going to lose the point in the fight. That is the downside of playing with the Brigida. So vulnerable against that Farah. Let's see. The Lucio getting My Chemical Thromance onto the point first, taking that aggressive position. Himbo throwing those fire strikes with the charge doesn't get anything. Laying in that hammer. Hack and Slash gets the pin on Demonicro. But it's even up, and actually the kills for My Chemical Thromance back and forth here. HDD on that Junkrat, though. Just throwing those mines all over the point here. Monocro back onto the point, gonna keep it alive. 
Luck Demon not able to get the kills. There's a lot of healing around. Kimbo now makes it back at this point. Of course, he already has a garage already. That's a testament to how much work he's actually doing on that barrel. Within the first 10 seconds of this, when they're all piled up underneath the high ground, he was already at 45% full charge. So that's exactly what my chemical throwmans didn't want happening. You see what happens when you don't have really that hit scan counter, and indeed Shikami is going to go over to the soldier. Puts some pressure on Luck Demon. Of course, in our last uh, match versus uh, the, our, ma our last match that we saw with my chemical romance, yeah. they I can start lining up for a, uh, a cheeky shatter, but they bypass him. Oh, but they get taken out before they can all make it up onto this high ground. HDD not able to get the rip tire, but Shikami, Shikami does, does take out Luck Demon. And let's see if Shikami can make anything of res off. Oh, and they're attacking into a 4v6, which is not the best choice. Oh, but sorry, four five. There are the kills coming out from Van Haste, so... Rez finally does come out on the Cherry Cola, so all the members of Van Haste will be alive, and they've got three ultimates to use. HDD still holding onto that Rip Tire, hasn't found an opportunity yet to use it. Oh, Tech oh, Visor comes out early from Cherry Cola. That might have been a bit of a... Yeah, it might have been a misclick. See now. I can't, oh, Hack and Slash looking for a cheeky Shatter. Oh, he gets everyone. Shatter comes out from Gimbo. Not gonna find any kills though. Oh, and my chemical throwmance has spread out way too far. Gimbo looks like uh, Gimbo did, a did uh, still there. I'm not sure what happens. The Gimbo did go off the edge. Was trying to reset, but I don't know. It might be too late for them to get back in touch here. Monica with that speed boost. They have only about five seconds. Oh, and he is going to make it. He's going to make it. But everyone goes down to the rocket barrage. It's not going to matter. It's just right. one Lucio. Monica has to put out enough damage to kill him. Oh, unfortunately, <laughs> it did not happen. It is one frog against the world. And of course, the world tends to be very mean to frogs. He was playing Frogger and the truck came. Doing his best. All right. Van Haste once again taking an early lead. And I do have to say, uh, I think Thromance is going to have to find an answer to this fair sooner rather than later because we are going on to Gardens, which is probably the best fair map in the game. So if they don't get that early positional advantage, they might find it very, very hard to get a foothold on this point at all. We did see in their last, if you remember King's Row in their last match. One. Uh, my chemical throwings really had no answers to Karasu Tengu's Farah. Just eventually was able to win just on ultimates alone, but really we're not able to kill her at all. So they are taking high ground, as long as they don't get Kong Rocket. Oh, <laughs> that was almost bad for hard disk. <laughs> Luck Demon though, on the flank here, no one's able to look at him. He's putting in a huge amount of damage onto these tanks. Now oh. he does get knocked get taken out, so that there's no one going to be able to beat the Farah. Kristoff does dive into Farah and take him out, but it oh. is, uh... Like, Monocro did fall down a little bit. Monocro skates just had a little bit of a uh, malfunction, let's say. And so, Van Haste, once again, looks like they're going to be taking this point first. They have to take Shikami out, and they will. It is said often that Farah is the scourge of Platinum, just because uh, the main way to deal with the pharmacy, as you see coming out from, um, what's it, Ban Hayes, is not a single hit scan, it is an entire team effort. It does look like Monaco is switching over onto that Mercy to perhaps help Shikami take Farah out of the sky. Can they get Luck Demon? Prevent Luck Demon from getting this damage because once again he has that barrage up. Just not too sure about the this, opportunity. this uh, small area that uh, Farrah can just spam into is a dream come true. And Hack and Slash right came in on the flank with a, uh, a pretty meaty Earth Shatter, but they weren't able to completely execute off of it. 
So that may actually be a good thing though, because by not killing everyone at once, their team is going to be staggered out for about 15 seconds of a spawning period instead of all coming back as a team of six and rushing to the point again. Let's see what is my chemical throwing going to do against this Sara? They haven't found an answer yet. They do have, have four ultimates, so they might just take this point straight up off of. We're gonna press Q and win. They have the self-destruct, and that can be big for at least getting the Pharah to stop shooting at you for a while. Oh, it hit flash. Let's go down. Ooh, the grip tire. Tech visor. Oh. Still, let's see. Self-destruct comes out from Ristoff. Doesn't find anything. And we could yeah. see Lucking in there with an extremely high altitude barrage, but because of high, how high up it was, it was covering that entire gate and he was functioning as a gatekeeper where anybody coming through that choke point was taking a lot of damage even if it wasn't barrage insta-kill damage so the rest of the, the team could just clean people up as they're trickling in. It does look like it's just uh, well, it does desperation get the time point. to touch the point for the last second to see if something can big come with it. Earth Shatter, big Graviton, that's gonna be it. That and is it, that's all she wrote. Looking really strong here. My chemical throw is just not able to do anything about Luck Team and all day. Ben Hayes with a commanding lead in this series, 1-0. Gotta say, very impressive out of Ben Hayes so far. Gojo on the play of the game. Laying out that very high Moira damage, of course. Moira. Never heal. Moira noted deep. kill everything. Of course, Moira always gets the limbs card. Impeccable. Unfortunately, two percent too many. Getting seventy-one percent. Must try harder. Let less hard. Back to. And so Van Hase, once again. Putting it all together, getting the win here, and they're on a real hot streak. And it, it was a pretty dominant showing by Luck Demon. It, it became apparent that My Chemical Thromance doesn't have a... Uh, with as good as Shikami was on Soldier, they didn't have enough to, to peel far out of the air. So they're picking Junkertown, which is another good far map. Uh, We'll see if they can pirate ship this out, or maybe just brawl on the ground hard enough that they'll uh, they'll make Luck Demon a non-factor as far up. But I don't think, with, with what they did last round, I don't think that's going to happen. Well, well also, like, also you should um, also take into consideration, Junker Town is also a fairly good Widowmaker map, and Widowmaker is very adept at taking that Farah out of the sky. And who knows, Shikami might have some uh, purple lady to show us. My chemical Thromance has indeed picked Junker Town. We'll see what they're playing to run. Of course, HDD has been known to pull out the Bastion at times. So, a, another option that My Chemical Thromance does have on Junker Town is actually running Dive. Um, all of their players are capable of running it, and I think it would be a pretty strong choice against a team that's running Farah, because you you just dive on four people, fight them while Farah planks it a Winston Shield, and. Uh, That'll force Luck Demon into Brigida, and then they can reorient their team around fighting that instead of the Farah. All right, so Junker Town is the pick, and we are going down into the Outback. Welcome to Junker. Going to Roadhog's house. We'll see if my chemical throwance is going to be able to even this up. Are Everybody needs to, to deal with the pressure here. My Chemical Thromance needs to get their didgeridoos ready. They do have Shikami on the Widowmaker. And we already have the, the joke picks coming out. Uh, I Who hope says, they're joke picks. Who says Luck <laughs> isn't going to play I don't Symmetra? Know. Luck, <laughs> Luck Symmetra is not as much of a joke as I would like it to be, personally. <laughs> All right, we'll see. We, we may see... Uh, is no longer just the pirate ship, it may be the pirate galleon if they really do bring out the Torp Bastion, because two turrets on the, the payload is better than one turret, according to my math. What if you had a Symmetra, then you could have eight turrets. That's, that's, just, beast. that's just too terrifying to even think about. 
Alright, so my chemical throw ants looks like they're coming out with the Widow and the Junkrat. Uh, Gimbo on the Orisa. Everyone else staying on their same heroes. The stuff on the Diva, Monaco on the Mercy, and the Hip Flask on that Moira. Attackers we'll see what is Van Hayes going to roll out with here on the attack. You must like they seem to be having discord among the team over who gets to play Symmetra for attack. Looks like, uh, uh, looks like whatever is happening, Primate Male is winning that fight. Alright, looks like they're going to try this Ryan Zarya. This, this could be an advantage here for my chemical throw-ins. Orisa able to use these long sight lines to burn down that Reinhardt shield. Really uh, let Shikami get that damage in, the snipes. Let's see, Shikami already getting a lot of hits in, but no headshots yet. No kills for either side. He's still looking. Oh, Luck Demon does get the pick on the hard disk, but it will be red. Gimbo now gets his shield broken. Just trying to hold this point. Being pocketed really well, but HD goes down again. They're having difficulty actually getting any kills here. Wojo on the flank. And Gimbo is down Fortify right now, and Hack and Slash could charge him right now if he turns around. Uh oh. <laughs> he gets the kill on the Luck Demon, this so this is still defensible. Gimbo has the Fortify up. Graviton only gets Gimbo. He will go down though. And looks like this is gonna be cleanup here for Van Hayes. Rojo pulling out the Coalescence, gonna try and take out Monaco with it. Monaco is gonna go down. No one can hide. But no one's on the payload here, so can actually take them a bit. It is going to get to the point. That is going to give uh, that is going to give Thromance a little bit of time to actually set up on the second point. I'm not sure they would have wanted that to happen. Are indeed going to be able to set up, get Shikami back in position, try to take out that Luck Demon Farah. And they they do have that critical high ground at the the middle of the U band. There it is, a big pick from Shikami right away. But it is in position to be rezzed. Still, that's a res that they won't have now. They can start getting... Oh, and, and he there picks he off Warden as well. Big pick on the Warden. And there's a Mercy they won't have. Now the attack visor comes out from Cherry Cola. Gets two, actually. My chemical bromance drops down. They start dumping ults. But oh, they're not self destruct enough. though. It's gonna be too late. All of Van Hayes was basically able to get back to safety, and they're going to continue pushing this payload. Cherry Cola and Luck Demon just have been on fire with these ults today. Cherry Cola popping those tack visors and getting the kills. And really, maybe hasn't been noticed, but it's really been an important part of this attack. Alright, Shikami is going to use the Infrasight. But the payload is gonna make it to point B. Really? Oh, and Shikami is playing dangerous games right now. <laughs> Very close. Yeah. He's actually way out in front of his team. Not sure Widowmaker ever wants to be in melee range of anything. But the closer you are, the bigger the enemy's head is. My chemical throw-ins going in aggressively here. They want to stop the dark. Both Valkyries are gonna be popped. Huge shatter from Hack and Flash. From that, all it is is clean up. It Monaco is just going to have to fly away. Monaco trying to stall that payload as long as possible. Knowing that they've got four and a half minutes they need all the time they can get here. And that safe full of explosives is still rolling towards Junker Queen's throne. So we'll see if they can stop it here or if we're going to see a uh, Shikami actually multiple back round match. Shikami is actually back onto that Genji so it looks like the comfort picks are rolling back again. Oh, Hiplex does get taken out by a damage boost rocket, but that will be res. Shikami, though, very low, will get taken out. HD close to that Riptire. Oh, oh big shatter! Gimbo! That Riptire! Grav comes out from Primate Mail, but it's too late. The Riptire did get everyone. And Gregrex says, who needs a hit scan? I'll take the Pharah out myself. 
Now please charge my ult again so I can do it next fight. <laughs> Riptire is pretty good. I'm just letting you guys know. Alright, Lux Demon. Oh, Shikami trying to get Lux Demon, but he's out on his own. He can make it back to safety as HD was taken out. Will be res. Gimbo went for the charge though and gets killed by Luck Demon. Now HDD is in a bad spot. There's the shatter. There's the rocket barrage. And once again, everyone is gonna get the team wipe here on my chemical throwance. Now three minutes left. Luck Demon trying to punish in the spawn here. Are they gonna be able to make it out? Gimbo has switched to Winston. Which surprisingly isn't a bad pick against uh, Farah. Oh, but he does get charged. Taking out on the main. And Cherry Cola with the flanking tech visor from spawn. Shikama's gonna pull out the play, but let's see if anything can come of it. It does get both Farah and Mercy. Monaco going for the res, not gonna happen. That could be the cap right there. Over two and a half minutes left for Ban Hayes. Really good push there. It was a very solid attack by Van Hayes. Let's see if uh, Romance can pull it together something a little bit more convincing than that. We might have a series here. Right, we're going to have to see how my Chemical Throwance wants to attack this now that they have themselves in the driver's seat. They're going to... Yeah. It they is can looking kind of, like pirate ship. I am praying here that, that that's is, not a mean pick. Please, HTD. You no, know it in your heart. You know you want to play Bastion. The Bastion actually can be a really a very legitimate counter to this Farah. And not only is it pirate ship, but it is looking like a double sniper pirate ship, which is a uh, a new morph of the pirate ship meta. Normally, you do have a second tank to help sustain Bastion on the point, well, but what? they just want to shoot Luck Demon in the head with this. What better? So, but I do believe thing to put on a pirate ship than lots of guns. I do believe that that is what they call formerly the quick play special. You know what? People wouldn't click it if it didn't work, right? Right? Oh, and Hard Disk is using Stealth Fashion, so they won't oh. be able to see him while he's on the payload. That is true. That's, that is very dangerous. Because of all those sharp edges and angles, the radar will bounce off and not reflect properly. They won't see anything. And we'll see if they're going to roll with this. Double Sniper and Bastion, who is basically a sniper himself, when you think about it. He's also a tank. And he's also very cute, and he's Torbjorn's son. Those are all the things he is. People have been wondering where the uh, the talent tank is going to be, but I I think they should just fill out the Lindholm family so you can run the Lindholm family team. So here we go, Luck Demon running that Faro once again, but. HD Bastion is going to really limit where he's allowed to go. We're yeah, doing a bit of a risk oh. fly over there. It looks like he is going to live for it, though. Shikami tried to get out on the flank and was taken out by Luck Demon. Luck Demon now just dropping right onto the payload and taking out the Bastion. Really. It's always, a, it's always an important sight when you have to see a Bastion die. You just put the pressure onto the Bastion from the front. Luck Demon came around the back while he was distracted, and nothing you could do about that. It does look like they're going to continue to uh, to commit to the Bastion, though. Let's see if they can get set up back on cart and hopefully get it moving. Difficulty here is getting the Bastion to the payload here. Oh. Big shatter from Hack and Slash. That's not going to be helpful. Oh, and Monocro may off. get staggered here if he can't get back to spawn. This stuff but finally. It looks like slip away. The stuff finally takes out Luck Demon, but that's going to be rezzed. I you have to do it again. This next fight. So they've abandoned Pirate Ship and Bastion. Uh, Chunk Rider is brought out. Still running that single tank, Orisa. Logo picking up the Coalescence. And the Valkyrie also from Warden, so a lot of damage to come through. Oh, and Hack and Slash goes, he almost goes home to be out back. But luckily the charge duration was short enough that he stopped before the cliff's edge. Shikami goes down, will be res, but Luck Demon, another rocket. 
the Graviton also committed from Primate Hill. Might have been an overcommitment there. We'll see. Only the Earth Shatter going to be available now for Van Haste. We are going to see some switches come in as well. Uh, Gimbo now on that Winston. Shikami on the Genki, so they're going to try to attack the back. See if they're going to stick on this Widowmaker. Ristoff does have the Infrasight, but he is going to swap to the Diva. They're going to try to dive this. This is what we were, we were expecting them to run. Uh, dive comp with that Genji, with that Junkrat, really playing to this team's strengths. Tommy's still going for Luck Demon. It's a bit of damage, but we'll be able to get back and heal. Hack and Slash, another big shatter. Cherry Cola pops the visor, and that's going to be the team wipe right there. That shatter took no time at all to charge. Hack and Slash is basically getting these every single team fight. Let's see. HD, HDD has to make something happen with this Rip Tire. They're gonna start this payload moving. Ooh, but he's gonna have to be able to get out of spawn to do that. So they they do need to actually execute the dive here. They can't just try to dance with Heck and Slash up front. Oh, hip blast goes down though. Oh, and HD bring the tire. Looking oh, for Lex Demon. Everybody scatters and he can find nothing. But it looks he like he's gonna find Warden. That actually that could be a, a big huge, pick. That's a huge pick. And now Shikami with the blade. Oh, he runs right into Luck Demon's barrage, though. Only gets one. But the kill's starting to come in for my chemical throwman. They do have the spawn advantage here. They might want to back off so they can actually get set up here. Still is a bit of time. Cherry Cola does get caught out. Warden. You get picked off by Shikami, so there's a bit of, finally, a bit of momentum my chemical romance. Monocro's use of Valkyrie there may cost them this final push because now they don't have support all the oh they do have a uh, coalescence but that may not be able to carry them through this next upcoming fight if they do decide to contest and it does look like they are opting to do that. Hack and Slash is going to have a shatter ready on this push onto the cart. They're also gonna have a grab as well. Oh hip flash does go down without using that coalescence. Another shatter out of Hack and Slash. There's the grab. Gets wrist off and Gimbo. Monaco going for the res, but the rocket barrage. That's gonna be just about it. Only two left alive. Gimbo and Hip Flask. Wojo gonna clean up with his own coalescence. That's gonna be all she wrote. Ben Haste with the 2 0 win. Quite a commanding showing by Ben Haste, actually. Um, seems like Thromance was not really able to adjust properly to the, to the compositions that Van Hayes was able to run, and unfortunately it cost him the series. I, I think if, if they made the pivot to dive earlier, um, it would have brought them at least to the third point. But it was too little too late for that pivot. That Sometimes you just have to abandon pirate ships. I have to say goodbye to Bastion with goodbye, tears, Bastion. In my, tears in my heart. Monocro getting those 12 votes. Pretty amazing. Luck Demons, Farah. Just was too much for my chemical throwmats here. They could not deal with them all day. And they are going to get Van Hayes up to 2-0. and oh, Looking really strong here. Going into our second week. But that is going to be all from us today. Uh, of course, I want to thank RDK, Commoners, Monocro, Shikami for the commentary. Uh, Mark on the camera, as always. Of course, all of our viewers for tuning in. And uh, we are uh, asking you to check on the Discord channel when we have determined our schedule for next week, we're gonna finish out our group stage and then the top two teams in each group are going to advance to the playoffs. So And of course the go... plan sorry, go ahead. And of course the plan for these games is going to happen again on the Friday, the Saturday, and the Sunday probably around the same time that we had the games uh, this week, but of course it will be up to the availability of the teams. The current tentative plan is to have the uh, 
playoffs go on this Sunday, but we will have to see how that goes. But we will be in touch as to when those games will be run. So be sure to watch the Discord space for more. So if we quickly want to go over the standings here. Group A, we have Van Hayes at 2-0. and Looking good. Uh, Ducks eating greens really fast. My Chemical Throwmans both at 1-1. One and one. And the blue team at 0-2. But again, not eliminated yet. And in Group B, we have Goat C9s also at 2-0. and Potato Potato, no payload for old men, sitting at 1-1. One and, one. and the feeders at 0-2, but still with a shot at the playoffs. So once again, we're still uh, working on the schedule for next week, and we will let everyone know once that has been determined. Until then, we're all done for now. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again after a while. See you guys next Friday.